Hi guys, in this session, we are going to cover text function in Microsoft Excel. What are the text functions in Excel and how going to be used while having our requirement. So these, I have a list of text functions here. It's around 27 text functions listed in uh, Microsoft Excel. And I have listed as a particular wise that so that you can understand these types of uh, text functions and which version of Excel uh, you will able to put on and what, uh, what is the purpose of using these text, func text functions and what are those arguments you require for using these text functions in Microsoft Excel. Now I will go one by one. See first care. Care means get a character from a number. This is the purpose. And you have an argument as a number. Meaning you have to give a number and you will have a character. Meaning I have given here 65, 66, 67, 97, whatever number you have given, you just use care function. Just select this one, close bracket, hit enter. You can see these are your outputs. So you giving the number as argument and you will have a result using care function. Now what is used for clean? Clean is mainly used for non-printable characters it to be removed from any text. Meaning if you have any text like A, B, C, A, B, C, this, space, space, this type of text you have, or everything gets mixed. Here, non-printable characters will be removed using clean. You can see I am using here clean, clean, and select this name. Then you will see I think everything has been written, but non-printable means like something uh, uh, symbol types of characters which is inside this text that those will get removed using clean function. That's what a clean is all about. Cleaning, clean is used only for those characters to be removed which are not printable. Now the code. Now you have number and then you have character. Then now I have to write a code for this. Which character I have picked up. Now this is your code. Now concatenate. Concatenate join the two text without delimiter. Without delimiter. Delimiter meaning when you uh, have you ever used the text to column functions in Excel? If you have used, then you know what a delimiter is. So delimiter is the character or a symbol using which you are going to join a multiple text. If you have a text A and you have A, B, C, A and you are going to use concat and now text 1 comma text 2 comma text 3 comma text 4 now hit enter you can see everything get a single word a b c a without any delimiter meaning no comma no backspace no forward slash anything so clean is used for joining the text value, but no delimiter. And concatenate join text together. The same thing it will do. Concat and concatenate will do the same thing. If you're going to use 
concatenate with the delimiter you gonna have you can use this like i gonna use the same thing what i have using here concat now using concatenate now this space this comma space this comma space this now you can see i have join all the text but here uh, using concat functions and here concatenate functions concat functions will do the same what a concatenate function will do but concat functions is used only for joining the text without delimiter but you can use delimiter in concatenate because you have seen i have used a space as a delimiter now for dollar i have this number and i am going to use dollar and select this range you can see your number gets formatted as a dollar now exact exact is used for comparing the two strings meaning if this one is a and this one is a then you gonna compare this a to this a is it true or not so using exact this cells comma this cells see what is the result is true because both are same if you give a small a here you can see a false because exact is case sensitive function so any things get different from the two text will only not two text only any either text number or any kind of arguments when gonna compare with the two if they are same in every way then you will have the true otherwise false now find what find i have here the ramesh and i have to find here find find text i am going to find the text as a in which text in this text start number from 1 then you can see is 2 what does find do find will have your string locations meaning if you going to find a from a text ramesh and you can see a is in the second position so your second number is comes in this is your index number where your finding word is actually located in that text that is what a find is do now you gonna fix meaning this is just like a decimal point or decimal you are formatting a number into the decimal that is a fix meaning i have this number and i am going to use fixed use this this one and now see here is the decimal i want one decimal again no comma i want comma is then select true that's it but here is a number is very small that's why comma is not visible if i am given this 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 then you can use here fixed these are my number and decimal i want two decimal do not prevent comma means do these give comma please so here you can see i have 
formatted here with the two decimal point and I have used the comma. If you use true in place of false then no comma will appear. You can see comma will disappear. So this is the way you're gonna use uh, your fixed function in Excel. Now left I am using use left text. My text is this. And how many characters you want to have from left side? I want two characters. That's it. Now you see R A is the two character from the mesh from the left side. That's what left is coming. Same way you're gonna have a right. Same way you're gonna have a mid. Left from the left side right, from the right side mid in between. Now I'm going to use lower any text. See, we have so many text across here. If I want to go lower, then just write lower. And then select any number. You can see here lower. Here G is a cap, but here you can see G is a small because lower function will change all your uppercase text into the lowercase. In the same way, you gonna use upper. Select this one and then use, you can see. Every characters will shift into the upper cases. Number value. What number value will do? It will convert text to a number with custom separators. Meaning, if you want to use separator like comma or backslash, forward slash, whatever your choice is. And if you want to have some decimal points, then you're going to use in these functions. Number value. Simple, if you have like 178, 201, these are looking number, but they are actually a text. Because I have starting with the apostrophe sign. So if you want to convert into the value, then use number value. This. Now you can see, this is your text, meaning any number is in text format. If you want to convert into a number format, then you will gonna use number value. Now, proper, P-R-O, P-E-R, proper, you, you can see your character's text becomes upper lower, upper lower, upper lower type. This means this is a proper case. So now replace, replace meaning you are replacing a thing from a text. Replace the text based on the location, right? So I'm going to use replace old text. I am replacing A from B from first number, from first number, a number of character, I want to replace one number of character. <coughs> Use replace old text. My old text is Ramesh, this one. Start number one. Number of character one. And what new text I gonna add? I gonna add meaning I have to replace one character from the first position, meaning the R should replace by P. Now see Ramesh becomes Pamesh. 
because I have replaced R to P. Now, R E P T. What R E P T do? If you have like a star plus or something like this types of, and you have forty six, forty eight. Twenty-seven, twenty-three, twenty-three, seventy-six. Now, what I want, I want this one will be repeated. So use R E P T. R E P T is a short form of repeat, meaning. Whatever text you gonna use, that would be repeated. But you have to opt your number of times. Meaning, whatever number. If I want to use A, but I want A to be five times repeated. So A A A A A. That's the, your result. So I am going to use this text. Star. And. Comma number of times. How many times you to you want to start to be repeated? I want this time. So hit this one. Now plus now. So you can see here whatever characters I want to be repeated, I have to use only the number of times. That's why star comes as forty six times plus. Comes as seventy six times, and the caret sign comes as a twenty seven times. This is what our R E P T function use. Same function from the right side. You can pick whatever number of character you want to pick. If you want to search anything from a text, you can do use this one. You can use this one. You can use this one. Convert a text to a number format, meaning. Whatever text you can see, I have written here like two thousand twenty one zero three twelve. I simply written year, month, and day, but not looks as what we expect. I want twelfth of March. Or third or twelfth March twenty twenty one. So I gonna use text. Which value I want to go formatting this value, and in which format? Then you have to decide what format you need this time. I want day would be first. Then I want hyphen. Then I want month to be written as a text. Then I want y y y y. In this format, I want this one. Then hit enter. Okay, this is not given as a. Now you can see, I have formatted this one. So using text, you gonna format whatever format you want to be. I want. Only two character of year and long text. So see, twelfth March, twenty one. So it's your requirement. What you require, you gonna use this one. Now text join is the same. What we have did with the concatenate or concatenate function. Meaning, you are going to join two texts or multiple texts at once. Now you can see, I have, I have text one, and then text two, text text three. I am going to join text join. So use text join. Delimiter. Here you have a argument. Delimiter. 
I am going to use delimiter as a hyphen. Now, next argument is ignore empty. Means, if there is any record which you are going to join two, three multiple texts, in between, if any record is empty, then what should you do? Here is your option letting you which one you gonna choice. So I am gonna choose true. If there is empty record, just leave it, ignore it. So I select here true. Now text one, my text one is this, comma, text two is this, now third text is this, any text, now you have C. I have joined all these, these three texts using delimiter as a hyphen, you can see here. So using text join function, you can do this. Now what trim will do? Trim will remove your extra spaces. Like you have written like uh, Ramesh and then give you multiple spaces. Or, firstly you have give you multiple spaces and then you written the maze. Here, both the maze have multiple spaces, extra spaces meaning. In the first record, I have extra spaces afterwards. And here, I have extra spaces initially. So, but my Requirement is, I want both should be like this. No after space, no initial space. And this both comes true using your trim function. Select this one. Now use trim function. Select this one. Now you can see. Meaning, trim will be used to remove your extra spaces. Now, value. I have a date here. Want to be a value. Just write value. This one. You can see. This is your value. Sometimes you find like this number. And then you got surprised uh, that I want da date. But... Uh, accidentally we receive a number. But if you are familiar with the Excel default setting, you gonna just need to change your format and then go hit here, date, and then gonna use this format either from here or either from short date or long date from this drop down. So this is your value. Using value, I have converted the exact date into the value part. Upper, I have used already making every lower characters into the upper cases. Now, Unicode, I Unichar, you have seen already, already that 65. I have given 65 and I have used earlier the char function and you will have capital A. Now I am going to use unichar. So I am giving you a number like 399, 2798, 4003. I am using unichar. Unichar. Select this one. You can see the symbol like characters will appear. You can see here. Symbol like character to be appear. This is what a unichar will do. And if you use unicode for this character, you will have the number what you have used and you get this one. So from this to this, you use unichar. And from this to this, you use Unicode. This is what a text function is all about. Now I have to, with all the text functions we have now, around 27 text functions in this session. 
Hope you enjoy these lessons. Thanks for watching.